that said, Alex, I'm really encouraged by um, how Lifespan, the book, has done. There's a lot of people who have been encouraged by reading the book and changed their lifestyles uh, after reading it. And so it's, it's education for sure. Um, I'm, I'm really excited that, that Lifespan has been uh, read by so many people. Now, you know, 99% of the world has not yet read it, and they are still at the mercy of the advertisers and marketing campaigns. That said, I think there is a, a role for scientists like me to begin the education. Um, and then those people talk to other people. And, you know, you can see across the world that people now have heard of fasting. They've heard of cold therapy. You know, Wim Hof is, is you know, I'm very grateful to him. He's also saying the same things. But it, it, it's a slow education because, you know, first of all, not a lot of people read books. Uh, only a small percent listen to podcasts, honestly. Um, and most people just watch TV and advertising. And so we're, it's slow, but we're getting there. And I think that we're in this new age, especially after the pandemic, of people taking their health much more seriously and realizing that they can't just go to the doctor once a year and expect to say, stay healthy. The doctors are too busy. They don't have the tools. It really has to come from within. It has to be you changing your life to have the impact that I'm talking about. So Sergey Young. Here we go. He was kind enough to give me a copy of his book yesterday. Okay. I've, I've read this before. He just gave me a, a nice signed copy kindly right. yesterday. You know, and I had breakfast with him yesterday and shared a lot of this information. So my book is about the science and the health of aging. This is more um, biohacking technology. Where are we going? A companion to my book. And so I, I recommend this as a companion uh, to lifespan.